Welcome to the enthralling world of the Perry Mason television series, a classic that has stood the test of time. Delving into the gripping realm of courtroom drama, Perry Mason captivated audiences with its compelling narratives and charismatic characters. Among the many roles etched into its storyline, there is often one that stands out to viewers a character that resonates or a scene that lingers in memory. Whether it's the unwavering determination of Perry Mason himself or the tenacious investigations by Paul Drake, each character played an integral part in shaping this iconic series. Perhaps you found solace in Della Street's unwavering loyalty or were intrigued by the legal intricacies woven by Hamilton Berger. Reflecting on its impactful moments, one might recall a pivotal scene in the courtroom that left a lasting impression, a revelation that shifted the course of the storyline, or even a poignant exchange between characters that struck a chord. For those who hold this series dear, there's bound to be a cherished memory or a personal experience that made it special a cozy evening watching with family, discussing plot twists with friends, or even an unexpected connection made through the shared love for Perry Mason. What about you? Out of the myriad roles, which one resonated with you the most? Is there a particular moment etched in your memory from this series? We'd love to hear your stories, memories, and the impact Perry Mason had on you in the comments below. Let's unravel the tales and reminisce about this timeless series together. Perry Mason, the renowned TV series, featured a notable character named Paul Drake. Drake cruised in a distinctive 1949 Lancia Aprilia Peninfarina Cabriolet. This vehicle added a unique touch to the show, mirroring Drake's personality and style. Behind the scenes, Paisano Productions played a crucial role. Formed by Gail Patrick Jackson, her husband, and the creator of the series Earl Stanley Gardner, this production company contributed significantly to the show's success. The show's setting included Perry's office, situated in the Brent Building in downtown Los Angeles, Ca. This location served as a focal point for many of the series' pivotal scenes, adding authenticity to the narrative. These elements, from Paul Drake's distinctive car to the involvement of Passano Productions and the iconic setting of Perry's office, contributed to the enduring legacy of this beloved series. In some episodes during the 1957 season, the closing credits of Perry Mason showcased product placements. These credits featured a small octagonal picture displaying various products like dishwashing soap. You can spot these placements on the show's DVD releases. This subtle advertising was a unique feature of the series, subtly integrating products into the credits. It's an intriguing glimpse into the advertising strategies of the time, adding an extra layer to the viewing experience. The show cleverly incorporated these placements without disrupting the narrative flow, contributing to the overall authenticity of the era portrayed in Perry Mason. This discreet advertising strategy, evident in those credits, highlights the creative approaches to engaging audiences during that period. William Talman's character, District Attorney Hamilton Berger, was more than a legal rival to Perry Mason. Behind the scenes, Talman held a unique perspective on Berger's constant losses in court. He believed Berger didn't take those defeats personally. For him, the pursuit of justice mattered more than personal victories. Talman's insight sheds light on the nuanced dynamics within the series, emphasizing the integrity of the legal system over individual wins or losses. The name Hamilton Berger itself was crafted as a playful nod, a wordplay that cleverly hinted at the character's personal subtle, humorous touch within the serious legal drama. These details offer a deeper understanding of the show's characters, showcasing their complexities beyond the courtroom battles, highlighting the essence of justice and wit in the narrative. The first African-American actor to have a speaking role in the show appeared in Season 3, Episode 4. Bill Walker played a night watchman in the case of The Blushing Pearls. This marked an important moment for the series in showcasing diversity on screen, reflecting a shift in the television landscape. Despite the show's era, this inclusion was a notable step forward in representation. However, it's worth noting that off-screen, all three principal supporting actors faced health issues related to smoking, a poignant reminder of the dangers associated with the habit. These aspects shed light on different facets of the show's history and impact, both in its on-screen representation and the personal lives of its cast members. Raymond Burr, known for his role as the titular character in the 1957 TV series, initially aimed for the part of Hamilton Berger. Interestingly, the casting decision placed Burr in the spotlight as Perry Mason instead. A distinct aspect of the courtroom scenes involved the oath-taking process. 
contrary to common practice, neither a Bible nor the phrase So Help Me God featured during witness testimonies in most episodes. Meanwhile, Georgie Stone holds the record for the most credited guest appearances, portraying the court clerk in 45 instances. Judges Kenneth MacDonald and S. John Lawner followed closely with 32 appearances each. These recurring roles added consistency to the series' legal setting, complementing the central narrative. Their recurring presence subtly shaped the atmosphere of the courtroom, establishing familiarity within the show's framework. These details highlight the intriguing dynamics and recurring elements that contributed to the enduring appeal of this classic courtroom drama, offering a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes fabric that made the series a staple of television history. Ray Collins, known for his role as Lieutenant Trage, faced health issues during the latter part of the series. His struggle with emphysema and memory loss forced his departure in the seventh season. Despite his absence, the show kept his name in the credits, providing support and benefits until his passing in July 1965. Collins' dedication to the series and the decision to honor his contributions shed light on the camaraderie within the Perry Mason Ensemble. His departure marked a poignant moment in the show's history, reminding viewers of the challenges faced by the cast beyond the courtroom drama. During the 1957 TV series, the auto sponsorships swapped frequently, showcasing different cars almost every other episode. Mason's ride shifted between a Ford Skyliner and a black Cadillac convertible, while Paul Drake's car varied from a Corvette to a Thunderbird. Tragic alternated between a 57 Buick sedan and a Mercury. Interestingly, while Lieutenant Arthur Tragic often called him Perry, Mason never reciprocated by addressing Tragic using his first name. Meanwhile, Raymond Burr faced an amusing encounter during the series' original run. A woman confronted him in public, demanding to know why he never lost cases. Burr quipped back, stating that viewers only saw the cases he handled on Saturdays. These details shed light on the dynamic car sponsorships and the unique character interactions within the show, adding depth to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the series' narrative. As our journey through the tapestry of the past draws to a close, it's intriguing to ponder the magnetic pull that classics like the 1957 TV series exert on our hearts and minds. Perry Mason stands as an indelible mark in the annals of television, weaving gripping narratives that echo through time. It's an experience that transcends eras, inviting you to delve into its gripping courtroom drama and unravel the complexities of the human psyche. Perhaps it's the timeless charisma of the characters or the ever-relevant moral quandaries that resonate with us even today. Each episode serves as a mirror reflecting our own perceptions of justice, morality, and the shades of gray that define our existence. It's in these moments of reflection that we forge a personal bond with the series, each viewer carrying a unique treasure trove of memories and insights. If Perry Mason has left an indelible mark on your storytelling journey, we invite you to share your cherished moments and musings. Your perspective enriches the tapestry of collective memory, breathing life into this timeless classic. Whether it's an unforgettable scene, a character's unwavering resolve, or a moral dilemma that struck a chord, your voice adds depth to the narrative. Thank you for taking the time to journey through the corridors of nostalgia with us. Your engagement and reminiscences breathe new life into these ageless tales, keeping the spirit of Perry Mason alive in our hearts and conversations.